So Phil, we're here today with you launching your new beer, Raging Bull. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, I, I got approached uh, a little while ago about a beer, and, and, and Mike came along from Bespoke Breweries, and we talked about it. And uh, been a beer drink, being a beer drinker myself, uh, and, and enjoying a, a brew, I was like, yeah, but you know, I want it to be my beer. So we had made up four or five different brews of different uh, techniques, different hops, different flavours. Uh, what we're looking for and I think predominantly you know it's my beer I want it to be like I want it so it's a it's a pale beer it's uh, like you know 3.5 percent it's a drinking beer and uh, it's just been interesting we, we got down to the final one uh, what last week uh, I said said to, to, to the brewers I just want to change a couple of little things and we and we've just changed a couple of the little hops uh, to make it uh, slightly different and today I've been making the first ever brew of the Raging Bull beer so it's uh, it's been good fun I've always enjoyed you know even at home you know I do my little home brew kits and make a little bit of wine a little bit of uh, cider and uh, it's just a bigger version of all of that and it, it, enjoyable yeah, and like you say, it's not as if you're just putting your name to it. You've been very much hands-on today. Yeah, well, I didn't want. Sometimes I fall into the trap of, of, of sometimes put you know just putting your name to something, actually having nothing to do with it, and and it kind of doesn't really mean anything. And uh, you know, it's a bit of the same, I suppose, with Raging Bull. You know, it's my brand. It's it's me. It's I'm hands-on. It's it does it has to mean something. And I think being here today and seeing the grains go in and mixing and. Uh, and making the first stew, draining off, putting the hops in, separating the hops, checking for foreign bodies, picking the stems out, getting them all sorted, weighing them out, chugging it in, stirring it. Uh, you know, it, it, it you know it has to be right because uh, you know if someone doesn't like it, it's no good me saying, well, I didn't really have anything to do with it. This is my beer, so you've got to be hands on. Does it have uh, the same characteristics as uh, yourself as a player? Um, hopefully, a little bit more subtle. <laughs> uh, not quite uh, as uh, as aggressive, perhaps, but I, you know I wanted. You know I said to Mike, we were talking last week. You know I want it to be a friend. You know I want it to be. I was talking with you earlier on. You know, I want it to be a beer which people can enjoy. Uh, you know we've got the summer coming up. I want people to be able to think. You know barbecue. Yeah. If you want to put, if you pop up the pub with with the wife or the missus or the family to be able to have a couple of pints and enjoyable and, and want to go back and have another one. It's not trying to recreate or create something which has never been created before. I just want a good, honest, solid beer that people will want to drink and will enjoy it. Good stuff.